Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course um, one of the things that we're taking a look at is uh, answering some questions here that I've received from some of you uh, concerning the um, Microsoft Edge Chromium based browser. So if um, some of you know that uh, Microsoft Edge as it is now is going to eventually disappear as Microsoft has decided to move on to another um, form of browser, uh, which is a Microsoft Edge browser. It's still going to be Edge. It's I don't know if they're going to transform or change a little bit the uh, icon of Edge. I would, you know, if you're about to change it into something different, why not change the icon? Um, but probably will stay the same. It's going to be Chromium based. That means now it will be compatible with a lot of, uh, first of the web technologies. Uh, you know, Microsoft Edge had its own uh, Edge HTML that a lot of uh, developers didn't really like because they had to do special versions of everything to have it working right on Edge. And um, by using the Chromium engine, now it becomes a web standard pretty much. So questions that people have, okay, so what, they bought the rights to uh, Chrome? No, that doesn't work like that. Chromium is a open source project. It's not owned by Google. It's really an open source. Everybody can contribute technically to the Chromium base of um, the browser. And it's really because it's thanks to Google Chrome and, and, and really, and, and some other browsers using the same uh, engine, like uh, if you use Opera, you're using the Chromium engine also. <clears throat> this is what will now drive Edge eventually. That means it will actually uh, make it more compatible and better, give it better compatibility with web content. Another thing also that it will do is uh, the fact that you will now have it will be compatible because that's another question. Does that mean we could use add-ons from Google Chrome? Apparently, yes. Apparently, they will let you add the uh, extensions available through the Google Chrome Store within Microsoft Edge. It will be compatible. It will work. So that will probably be uh, making a lot of people happy because it has a very extensive list of extensions. Um, Will it be faster, slower? Let's hope that it's going to be fast. Um, what is interesting is that they have here a possibility to kind of uh, make Microsoft Edge better than Google Chrome in some way because they would be able to use a Chromium engine and try to make the browser really fast with it. Will it, um, you know, uh, roll out and, and will it be better? I'm, we'll see when it's out, okay, because we haven't seen that yet. When will it be available? Um, right now, the course of action that we think is in Microsoft Build Conference, early May. They will show it to us for the first time. Until then, I don't think we should expect any of that. But in that build conference, they're going to show us Chromium. And some people think that they might actually make it available that same day that they'll actually demonstrate the Edge Chromium. Will it come with Windows Update? Not yet. Eventually, possibly. Um, it, it, probably with a build of some sort, a new version of Windows 10. Because it is and will be for now a downloadable browser that you can get. It won't be pushed right away. Um, there's actually an insider program for it that I've subscribed to. So when there's the first insider preview of it, I'll be able to test it. But what we know it's gonna be downloadable probably from the Microsoft Store and in installable from there and not something that you will uh, have pushed to you for now. But I would expect that this, when it's actually done and, and working well, will eventually be inside a version of Windows 10. You'll get that new feature update of some time and it's going to be there. Is it going to be there in the fall? 
We don't know. There are speculations that I've heard that it would be, and that that's one of the reasons why Skip Ahead now has that um, update from like a year now. We have two updates or two uh, versions ahead of time. Um, somehow, some speculation saying that that skip ahead, the skip ahead will be testing. Those are the versions that they're going to get and be with the Edge Chromium and will maybe be the one that they push Edge Chromium to everybody. Uh, will it make it more popular or not? I don't know. You know, Edge hasn't caught on. And even if it's chromium based, doesn't mean it's gonna it's gonna you know get any attention. Uh, Google Chrome is still king, and I don't think that will change much. But um, you know, uh, one user, I, one viewer asked, okay, what's the controversy? Some people, uh, including Mozilla, says it's not a good thing. Why would they not want Edge to disappear for something else? Well, actually, what's happening is that Mozilla is not complaining that uh, what, what it's complaining about actually um, is that by having Microsoft abandon its own technologies on the web it gives more power to only one one big uh, company because Chromium of course is an open source but it's used in Google Chrome and what Mozilla says is well you're just giving more power to Google so that we'll use Google Chrome uh, rather than have different technologies that you know have that possibility because Mozilla Firefox has its own technology uh, but it's one of the only ones you know a lot of browsers out there that exist um, all are operating on a the, the uh, Chromium open source project meaning they kind of all have a similarity in the way they work with Google Chrome and on that side yeah I'm kind of yeah Okay, I understand what you're saying. Yes, it's true that we're kind of putting all in one place and that it's possible that it will give more power to Google with Google Chrome, uh, unfortunately. But, you know, let's give it time and see what happens. And that's pretty much what we know right now. And uh, that's for the update because a lot of you have been asking questions. I thought I'd create this little video to explain it to all. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.